Greetings, folks, and welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Coco Smooth, the casual collector. And in this segment of 12 scale military action figures takes, I am showcasing the Arsenals of Pew Pew Special Metal Edition Part 3. Yeah, this is the last of the three-part series where I'm showcasing my favorite uh, weapons in my favorite, in one of my favorite uh, paint schemes, which is this elegant special metal that they have. <laughs> Normally, you guys see me showcasing and gushing all over desert stuff, which I do like, right? Desert's my other most favorite geared stuff, Desert Coyote, you know? But every so often, you get something like this, and it's just, it looks so good in this color too and it looks like our boy the punisher can rock this um special handgun which i will have in the description below <laughs> i forgot what it's called off the top of my dome your boy's been drinking too much monsters and diet cokes that it's messed up my memory i'm experiencing information crate <laughs> too much too much in my head it, it's hard to to access i mean i don't have enough ram to access the memory buried in my skull you know what i mean in my madula amblancada but yeah i think it's a good look it's a nice look the paint job here is exquisite you can't beat it guys next up the honey badger their blend of the honey badger in this sexy special metal so you can do the sexy sniperish pose is a win yeah i'm using a naked uh spec uh, valverse action force spec ops buck for this and look how well it blends and remember the, the figure is black and the weapon is made out of that that metal and see how well that blends it's almost like tricking you into thinking that the weapon is black when it's not and if it isn't wasn't for the magazine there you know what i mean it blends so well with the black uh spec ops troop you know what i'm saying it's like wow it looks so good like i said like a, in the last video it's like a fade it just kind of fades into it you know it's a win I, I can't begin to explain. I, I'm, I like to think that the picture shows, tells us as a thousand words in, in, in the way something looks and how subtly it just works, right? So, yeah. Now, I think we should have, I, you know, in retrospect, I'm thinking I should have given this guy this and the you know instead and give him the honey badger but it is what it is it's too late and even still yet and even still the the same principle applies to this geared up non-naked spec ops trooper with a gas head and not a snake peeper's head right this their version of an m4 with a suppressor well actually i'm not sure the link will be in the description below this is a different kind of um m4 the last m4 i showed you guys i don't even know if this is an m4 but i'm, I'm thinking it will be either way uh the the other m4 that i that i saw was this this might not even be an m4 that's an m4 and again look at how it blends you know what i'm saying it's just guys I, <laughs> I don't know how to, I, guys, you, you just, I, I can't even begin to, I'm lost, I have a loss of words or four words because of just how elegant and, and just the way it blends. And you guys are seeing this in 4K. Imagine this in real life with you, your, your own collection. 4K might be better view than your own eyes in real life. So. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm beginning to think 4K is better than my own eyes. So, 
you know, this thing might look better in TV than it does in real life, but I think it looks great in real life. It looks sexy. Right? Uh, yeah. Anywho. And so I picked the, you know, this last one, this uh, bullpup, I believe. AK bullpup. To, with, with, with Deadpool to show what it looks like with an off color you know if it would make sense with an off color character and in a way it kind of does right now i wish that his uh deadpool's color would be more black or you know but it ain't but either way i think it's still a good look like some a weapon like this deadpool uses so many different kind of weapons that I wouldn't be so, uh, you know, it, it, I think it makes sense that Deadpool could use something like this and this color isn't too bad, you know. Even if I were to use just straight black, it would still be a win, but I wanted to know if the metal would, you know, complement this kind of weird metallic color that they use for this version of Deadpool. I'd say it's, it's not a, 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 a real good blend but i think the type of weapon this is still looks really good on a dead you know a marvel legends you know deadpool in, the, in especially the this version um i think deadpool in general with any weapon looks good and i'm just saying i, I like to think that this doesn't look bad on him you know what i mean so i dang clumsy clumsiness i mean i guess i could have used snake eyes as the model but this guy was looking too much like snake eyes already you know what I mean? so <laughs> i felt that maybe it'd be better to just try a different again the off a different color but i don't think it's a bad look per se yeah i don't know guys what do you what, let me know what y'all think is this special metal uh edition color really good you know what i mean um yeah the the brothers over in arsenal pew pews does such a good job i yeah i mean i already say this in every video because it's true it's the truth <laughs> their stuff their paint jobs are really really good i wish that they had more weapons so that i could buy them and get them in the special you know paint job um yeah, I can't wait to see what other stuff it is that the brothers cook up. I'm hoping to to get more. It's going usually, you know me, I'm it's either going to be desert coyote and or, you know, uh this special metal um in the future. I'm trying to get them to make me something. It's going to be so fun when you guys see what I got them doing and I'm hoping that they sent it to me sooner so when once once this figure comes out you guys can see just how cool it is that the, you know of a job they did for something i thought warrants uh the special color scheme so yeah hit them up in their etsy store or ig or facebook you can't miss them the brothers over at arsenal of pew pews they never cease to amaze me they always do such a great job um I'm very thankful that they list, you know, that they allow me to talk to them, that they talk to me and I talk back, you know, talk with them and interact so that I can see the pulse of whatever is going on next. They don't tell me everything, but I love when they do share stuff with me. I'm pretty excited because every, every now and then I, I'm, I'm surprised with some of the stuff that they show, just like y'all on IG and Facebook. So, all right, folks, that's all I got for this segment of One Tell Scale Military Action Figures Takes the last uh edition of the arsenal of pew pews um special metal edition part three i am your host coco smooth the casual collector and until the next video folks ciao